One of the fun and frustrating things about glass is that no matter how much experience you have, if you're pushing the envelope, you kind of never know what you're going to get. And in these pieces where I'm matching glass to stone, there are two components. There's the form that you want to master and then the coloration. So when I look at this lace agate, I see a bunch of different colors. There's kind of an ochre color, there's a burnt orange, there's a kind of crimsony red. And there are a lot of ways to get the color in the glass that matches the stone. These are called cane or rods. And then this is called billet. Typically in my pieces, I use a ton of transparent glass because people have a hard time recognizing that it's actually glass if it's opaque. But in this one, I'm gonna use a lot of opaque white. One of the reasons I'm using a ton of white in this one is that if you use a small string of it, it tends to look like a biological material, which I won't name here. In addition to picking the colors, you wanna look at the way the glass flows out and the way it lays in the mold. So the way you put it in the pot is going to influence how it pours into that mold. Stay tuned to see how this one comes out.